so there are two different methods available for the design of steel structures mainly asd as well as lrft asd mean allowable stress design method and lrft it is load resistance factor design so in case of asd we consider the service load we do not increase the loads we just combine the load there and consider their maximum intensity based on the probability of occurrence the service load should be less than the nominal strength divided by factor of safety and in case of asd we apply the factor of safety on the strength of the member for example here in this figure we see here is the nominal strength of the member as a section we apply factor of safety and reduce this strength and bring that strength into the elastic range and then we compare it with the service loads so the service load should be less than the available capacity allowable capacity so this is the approach which is used in case of allowable stress design method and we term this stress reduced stress as allowable stress in case of lrft we factored the service loads we apply some factor of safety on the applied service loads and then compare it with the nominal strength so here u time service loads we have increased the service load by multiplying it with the factor of safety and we have also reduced the nominal strength by multiplying it with the strength reduction factor phi so this term phi time nominal strength it is termed as design strength and this is factor load the factor load should be less than the design strength in case of lrfd we reduce the nominal strength by multiplying it with the phi factor it is a very small factor in case of steel or tension member it is 0.9 sometime it is 0.75 and we also increase this service load by multiplying it with the factor and then we compare this nominal strength with the applied factor loads and in that case again the nominal strength or the design strength should be more than the factor load so this is the approach which is used in case of lrft we apply the factor on load as well as on the resistance